Yeah, it is something it we've had our fair share of, yeah. of lately, for sure. All that humidity uh, today feels nice, right? But we know, especially mm -hmm. Saturday, wolf, it feels so much warmer outside when the humidity is high. So Heather took a look at what causes humidity. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> you two, you two were outside on Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could not get a break yeah. on Saturday. Yeah, it definitely was. Even my uh, neighbors walked outside and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so, it's so muggy. You know, I mean, it really felt mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, I mean, it was a totally different air mass, oh, but wow. yeah, huge difference. That's what's so fascinating about weather to me. You have a front that moves through and, you know, right before it comes through, you have these insane dew points that are so high and humid conditions and the front moves in. You're like, ha ha, this awesome. And it's the coolest thing to feel that. So we know that humidity is water, right? Like it's humid. We understand that. Uh, but kind of, is it like, hang explain what you found out about it, Heather. Right, and Riley might be able to do a better job than I can at that, but essentially the water's got to come from somewhere, and it, it really depends what kind of humidity you have. And so it could come from as far as the Gulf of Mexico, and the water comes out into the air, and the wind pushes it this way. Riley, I don't know if there's a yeah. certain yeah. kind of air that comes through yeah. in the summertime, but it, it's, it, could come, it could travel pretty far. Oh, yeah, and that's why we call it the return flow coming in from the south. I mean, you definitely notice a different air mass than, you know, if you have a southerly flow versus a northwesterly flow. Um, you know, and then you talk about, you know, like corn sweat and, and you know, plants. And I know you had talked to them about that, too. You know, if you have uh, a lot of corn or fields around your house, you're going to be more humid than what you are if you if you don't. Or if you get a lot more rainfall coming in versus if it's been a drier summer. You know, there are a lot of factors that come into it, you know, and that's one of the things that really help us out. And that's why, you know, when you are sweating, you, you're actually cooling your body off. It's when you stop sweating that you have to start worrying about stuff like that. And you know, and I have a cousin that doesn't really sweat. And so she used to have to really mm. watch that stuff when she was younger mm. because she could overheat really easily. You know, there's two different things that you look at. You know, you're talking about the, the humidity. I always tend to look at the dew points too because that factors the moisture that's in the air. So the higher the dew point is, you know, it's that sticky air mass. And then when you look at the relative humidity or the humidity, how close that is to the saturation. So, you know, say it's 90%, you know, 100% is completely saturated. So there's different things that you look at uh, in those factors too. On Saturday night, the National Weather Service had put out a tweet saying the dew point was 80. That's high. Uh, at nighttime, right at, you know, now. 9 o'clock at night. And at, we just don't see dew points like that here. Right. I mean, that's stuff that you think about in the tropics, you know, and that's when you start mm -hmm. hitting the 70s and higher that it's that tropical air. So is that what thing. happened this weekend? The tropical air just kind of was, was well, yeah, you get that here? you get the, that southerly flow that came yeah. in ahead of that front, especially, you know, you, you get that stiff south wind that comes in too, and that brings the moisture uh, from the south. And, uh, you know, weather, I always say in weather, we're, we're all in this together mm -hmm. because we, it, you know, it, it, <laughs> it affects everybody. Well, it stunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, today, I mean, so much and nicer, that's, you know, so that moisture, much better. Yeah, and that moisture, you know, storms feed off that moisture. That's the thing.